Welcome back to News First. The Department of Public Works has constructed 12 new bus shelters, which are set to be distributed to serve the island's students. According to a statement from DPW, the shelters, which are made of wood, cement, and metal roofing, were built using FEMA-approved design that can withstand winds of 100 miles per hour. At this time, the shelters are currently at the agency grounds and will be placed throughout the island after consulting with the Mayor's Council of Guam to determine where they are needed the most. The shelters were funded using the department's local funding appropriation and more will be constructed once more resources become available and the need is identified based on its ongoing needs assessment. Switching gears just as fast as it arrived, it's now gone. The Super American Circus will move on, but the hope is they will be back. After last year's sold-out performances on their inaugural tour of Hawaii, the Super American Circus turned their sights to Guam. Led by circus producer Tuffy Nicholas, the performers included world-famous tightrope walker Blake Walenda, aerialists, fire dancers, and juggling clowns. PNC's very own Blake Watson was even asked to be a guest ringmaster for the evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the circus. My name is Blake Watson from PNC. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, my job is very, very simple. I am just here to say hello. Check that off the list. And now I am here to present to you, Mr. Tuffy Nickel. Thank you, Blake. Well, the circus thrilled crowds with seven shows spanning the weekend at the UOG Fieldhouse and will do the same as they travel to Saipan this week with shows starting Friday night. In other news, underserved youths from several communities completed a mural at the Guam Premier Outlets over the weekend. The project provided underserved youths with an opportunity to beautify Guam with a new mural while using the skills they learned from a series of art workshops. During the first three months of 2019, the nonprofit Manietlu partnered with local artists and the Opaque team to hold these workshops in some of the island's low to moderate income housing areas. The art workshops, which included street art, photography, and spoken word, culminated in an art show held in April. During the workshops, GPL was inspired by the work done in the community and the art created by the Manietlu youth. Since then, it has supported the organization and its efforts by holding a mini Manietlu art exhibit, followed by the mural project. Well, if you have a sweet tooth and love waffles, the Hive in Tumuning might just be the spot for you. They have started making the popular dessert here locally. With more, here's PNC's Blake Watson. Built as a collaborative, creative workspace coffee shop concept, the Hive in Tamuning is very unique and a perfect venue for college students, business professionals, and digital nomads to spark new ideas, do work, or simply to just get away and lounge. Um, we are Guam's first co-working space with the addition of a mini cafe. We've recently launched our bubble waffle, which seems to be a huge hit on Guam. Huge indeed. Made popular on Instagram, it's called the Bubble Waffle. And as it turns out, it's not a new thing. Its origin traces back to Hong Kong, where it's also known as an egg waffle and has been a popular street snack there for decades. The waffles are made from a sweet, egg-rich batter that is cooked on a hot griddle similar to a waffle maker, but with small round cells instead of square. At the Hive, you can choose from five different variations. The basic, Bananatella, Cookie Monster, Carnival, or a seasonal blend, which currently is the trick-or-treat. There are also plans for expansion and interaction in the future to further the customer experience. Allowing our guests to create their own. So it would basically create a menu, you pick and choose your toppings, your ice creams, your fillings, and sell your sauces and toppings. Um, we definitely encourage our staff as well, staff and customers, to come in here and create, constantly create, whether it be your drinks, your work, studies, anything. So if you are looking for a way to beat the heat here on island, the Hive is now serving bubble waffles, very popular and very delicious. Blake Watson, PNC News First. 
And coming up next, we'll have Destiny Cruz and Leo Payuma with your weather and sports. So stay tuned. To those who answered the call in the name of freedom, thank you for your service. From everyone here at the Sorensen Media Group, happy Veterans Day. Hey Marianas, welcome to your local weather forecast. I'm Destiny Cruz and thanks for tuning in. Well, it looks like we kicked off this Monday with some confusing weather as partly sunny skies were followed by scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. But despite the rainy weather, we were still able to fill that island heat as daytime temperatures rose to 88 degrees while breezy southeast winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour cooled us down from getting too warm. As we transition into this evening, we can look out for a shift in weather patterns as mostly cloudy conditions along with isolated showers and thunderstorms start to roll in. Southeast winds of 5 to 10 miles per hour can be expected as evening lows reach 78. And as we look ahead to Tuesday and Wednesday, we can anticipate partly cloudy weather along with isolated showers on both days. Daytime temperatures are expected to reach 89 degrees as evening lows reach 78. And that wraps up today's weather report. Have a great rest of your Monday and be sure to tune in next time for more updates. Adios! This would be awkward if you were sharing these nachos with anyone but yourself. Nachos are now a meal with your choice of double the seasoned beef or slow cooked shredded chicken plus a medium drink. The Grande Nachos Box, only at Taco Bell. This would be awkward if you were sharing these nachos with anyone but yourself. Nachos are now a meal with your choice of double the seasoned beef or slow cooked shredded chicken plus a medium drink. The Grande Nachos Box, only at Taco Bell.